100 years of hard-hitting, fast-paced action. 100 years of blood, sweat, and tears. 100 years of passion, intensity, and pride. We have experienced, lived, and breathed 100 years of Kutztown University Golden Bear football. Over the last century, Kutztown University football evolved into a fast, hard-hitting group of young men, always expressing the unparalleled passion that is within every Golden Bear. That passion began to take shape in the beginning of early August. Good job, Brownie! Got the thousand, baby! Coach Clemens began preparing his troops for a long and glorious battle that would last until the middle of November. Plan for Coach Clemens is great. He's amazing. He's definitely a great guy. Um, he's my position coach too, so I feel as though we have a good relationship. I talk to him after practice, text him, call him anytime I need anything. He's helped me, you know, do everything. You know, helped me through the transition from coming to a, from a junior college, transferring over to, you know, Kutztown. He helped me just make the whole transition smooth and, you know, get me familiar with everything, get up to speed fast. So. In the brutal heat of summer, Coach Clements made absolutely sure that each and every player on his squad was prepared for a long season of triumphs and hopefully a shortage of defeats. Damn, Craig. Damn. Oh, the battle of the ghosts! The battle of the ghosts! Woo! On the day before Labor Day, the moment had arrived to take the field for the first time in the 2015 season. Today, we'll get our chance to look at the 2015 version of the Kutztown Golden Bears as they take on the Assumption Greyhounds. Pistol luck. To begin a strong first half, James Wall Jr. ran the ball into the end zone for a 30-yard touchdown. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, and it's actually Waugh, James Waugh Jr. In the second quarter, Assumption got on the scoreboard when Alex Shane ran down the field for a 62-yard touchdown. 40, no one is going to catch him. He is going to score a 60 Kutztown responded the with their offense marching down the field, which led to a Chad Barton QB sneak into the end zone. Chad Barton, a two-yard touchdown run, and the Bears have now made it 22-7 to with 20 seconds left in the first half. In the third quarter, the Greyhounds scored back-to-back -back unanswered touchdowns to keep them in the game. This is in for the touchdown. Toby steps up, he's going downfield and the pass is going to be caught. However, Kutztown fired back with a 20-yard touchdown pass to Cody Reed, which gave them a 30-27 lead over the Assumption Greyhounds. Very shortly after, the Greyhounds fired off again as they completed a 65-yard touchdown catch from Vernon Toby. Boykin is going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. With only a short amount of time left in the game, the Assumption Greyhounds ran the ball into the Kutztown end zone on a nine-yard touchdown run that gave them the victory, while also handing the Golden Bears their first defeat of the season. Oh, we came out fast. We were the offense did awesome for us. The defense, we were playing great, and then once we came out at halftime and we were just flat, blew our lead away, and that really disappointed a bunch of us as a whole. Just because everyone wants to start off 1-0. You want to start off on a good note. We came out hot and then didn't get it done. We were all pretty disappointed about the outcome, especially the lead we had at halftime. But, um, you know, it wasn't a piece that game. It was at a conference. So we still knew we, ha we had our uh, final goal in mind still. Unfortunately, the Kutztown University Golden Bears football team has never won a game at George P. Miller Stadium but that wasn't going to stop them from putting up a fight on September 12, 2015. And it is caught for a touchdown as he hits Swanique Brown. Here is a bubble out to the far side and it's red wet fumble and it yep. is recovered. It's recovered by the Golden Bears. Barton fires over the middle complete for a touchdown. Hempel breaks through the pile and will go all the way for a Crimson Hawk touchdown. Barton being pressured. Barton, oh, it's picked off, and this is going to be a pick six. For the first half of play, your score, IUP 21, Kutztown 6. 
from the near hash. He throws it right to the defender, and this is a foot race, fan. William will take it himself, and he will go all the way untouched for a 33-yard touchdown off the left side. Rose has the man complete down at the 40, and that is Cody Reed. Off play here is Williams. Williams with a big theme. 20, 15, 10. Williams tripped up down in. We came out kind of slow against IUP, and then at halftime, we really focused in. Williams is still set back. Here's a handoff, and Williams is in for the touchdown. Here's a handoff, and is in for the touchdown. Has a man wide open over the middle. He shakes the tackler at the 25 and will take it all the way for an IUP touchdown. That is Walt Pegee. For the middle complete for a touchdown to Cody Reed. Barton on third and 14, he's back. Nice pocket, throws over the middle complete. Williams, 40, 35, 30, 20, 10, touchdown, Golden Bears. Williams back. Williams going deep, Hail Mary. All that's back there is white jerseys, and it's knocked down by number 22, Daryl Smith. Smith. No yep. time on the clock. The Golden Bears storm the field. We did everything we could to screw that up. But we never said die, man. We never said die. And this dude's a no! no! No, we as good as we can. Can you kick that? Golden Bears took the field at Andre Stadium against Gannon. The fight was tough as the Golden Bears tried to keep up with the Gannon offense. But unfortunately, it ended in defeat with a score of 66-31. Fifth time prepared for the only night game of the season as they took on Millersville, following a complete domination over Cheney the week before. Kutztown controlled the game on the ground, utilizing a relentless run game. Wide top of your screen, going to hand off to Terry Williams. Williams to the 35, to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, see you later, touchdown. Golden Bears just doing anything they want on the ground. Hand off to Wad Jr. right up the middle to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. James Wad Jr. puts the whoopee on <laughs> Whoopie Pie Day. The Kutztown University Golden Bears took the road to visit John A. Farrell Stadium in a battle for first place over the Westchester University Golden Rams on October 10th. Westchester was dominant on both sides of the ball throughout the game, gathering 589 yards of total offense and holding Kutztown to only 280 yards. 30, 20, 10, in for the touchdown. The final score of the game was 44-14 Westchester, as the Golden Rams stayed undefeated in the PSAC East and eventually took the division title. After suffering a tough loss to Westchester, Kutztown hits the road again to take on the PSAC East leader, Bloomsburg University. With playoffs looming, Kutztown needed to win more than ever. Our mindset going into the Bloomsburg game is this is probably one of the biggest rivalries at Kutztown. We just wanted to beat them bad. And just from the loss that we had against Westchester, we just wanted to sh show everybody the PSAC, show all our fans that the Westchester game isn't the team that we have. We had to win. That's that's the only thing we thought about was winning. You are listening live from Danny Hale Field at Redmond Stadium, where today the Kutztown University football team continues its 2015 
campaign against the Bloomsburg University Huskies, a big PSAC East matchup. It's about 52 degrees. It's mostly cloudy, but the wind, as you said, could certainly play a major factor in the first quarter. Just underway, Kutztown and Bloomsburg. It's always it's always a challenge for us because people expect Bloomsburg, you know, always to do what Bloomsburg always does. Barton back. He's being pressured. He's being spun down, and he will be tackled. He drops back, Kelly looks, he fires and has a man open, a diving reception. Bloomsburg, it was just like a silent assassin mentality. No one said anything, it was just everyone did their job. He drops, shovel pass, complete to Elliott, flag flies, Kutztown is all over it. Here's the snap, Barton steps up, he looks, he fires at Cody Reed, complete. Down at the Bloomsburg 45. Three seconds on the play clock. They're going to go for it. Here's a handoff to Williams. Williams bounces off the right side. He dies. He's in for the Golden Bear touchdown. Kelly will hand it off. First down and more. 45. Midfield, 40, 30, 20, 10. And a shoestring tackle down about the 10-yard line. Once again, Kelly. He pumps. He'll run it himself. Left side, he shirts a couple tackles, he dives to the corner and he's in for the Bloomsburg touchdown. It's up and it's good. We have 6.56 to go in the second quarter in a tie ball game. And coming around the right side is James Watt Jr. Breaks a tackle down over the 30, 25, 20, breaks another tackle, 15, 12. He must have broken five tackles on that play. Barton back. He fires for the end zone. Leap caught! by Kellen Williams for a Golden Bear touchdown. Under center, Kelly will hand it off. Elliott is stacked up, he did not get it. Greensburg gambled and did not get it. By Barton, out of the shotgun, being pressured. He tucks it, he's gonna run, and now has room, 40, 35, he dives down. A fumble on the play. Barton lo lose the ball. What a tough break. Here is Elliott with a monster hole. He could probably drive a truck through that one as he takes it all the way in 20 yards for the Husky touchdown. We have a third and six situation for the Golden Bears now. The ball on their own 20. Kutztown moving left. He's got to come out of the game. That's an automatic ejection, the targeting penalty. That's number nine. That's Gary Postle. Counter here is Daryl Scott off the left side, and Scott is a flag fly. Takes it to the 40, several more flags fly. We have two players going at it down on the field. Barton looking, he fires to the end zone, and it is caught for a Golden Bear touchdown. That's on Jordan Morgan. Wow. Holding. Well, you don't see many penalties on Morgan. Going deep again to the far corner, leaping and bringing it down again for a Golden Bear touchdown, Anthony Kelly. No flags, no, no flags. flags. Kelly drops back, a lot of time, fires over the middle, and it is caught for a Bloomsburg touchdown by number seven, Chad Hoffman. It's about 15 yards to get into field goal range. 14 seconds remains on the clock. Barton steps up, being pressured. He throws, and it's intercepted, intercepted tipped, and then intercepted down at the 20-yard line. Kelly will kneel it out, and that is the end of regulation. We have overtime. Your score is Kutztown 21, Bloomsburg 21. Here is a counter play, and coming to the near side with a lot of room, and taking it all the way in for the Husky touchdown is Joe Parsnick now. You don't have to try and score a touchdown here. You just need a first. Martin fires. Oh, the end zone is caught. Oh, incomplete! It was caught by Williams, but he's out of bounds. I don't know how he was out of bounds. Flags are flying everywhere. I thought his foot was down. There, there's a flag on the play. I thought for sure his foot was down. I was just shocked. I mean, everyone was shocked. I mean, I thought it was, a, it was an awful call, really. I mean, I was right there. It looked, it looked like Kellen got his, clearly got his foot in. I don't know how he missed it. It's just frustrating. 
know, it's one of those things where you just, you, you just wonder to yourself, like, how could that happen, you know? After a devastating loss, the Golden Bears needed help and some luck to secure a playoff berth. Kind of just came up one big play short here today. Um, so, you know, Cooktown has a lot of uh, things to be happy about today, but obviously you can't be uh, happy in general uh, with a loss on the scoreboard. Just seeing the play after the game and seeing that he was in bounds, it was definitely heartbreaking for us. And we knew that we won that football game. But the thing that we had to do different, the thing that we had to do after that game was just look towards the next game because we couldn't do anything about that one. I mean, we should have came out with a win, but we don't have to talk about that. After a disappointing road trip, the Golden Bears traveled back to Kutztown for a homecoming showdown against the Warriors of East Stroudsburg. It all started with a record-breaking 98-yard run by Terry Williams. To the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, 25, 30, 35, to the 40. He has one man to beat. 35, 30, see you later, Terry Williams, 98 and a half yards. I felt great just for the simple fact that uh, it helped our team win. That's the most important thing to me. It's not about breaking records and stuff like that. It's just about winning, and I just want to win. So whatever it takes to win, that's all that matters. The Golden Bears ignited an offensive explosion, taking advantage of the fumbling Warriors. High snap over his head, and it's going to be pounced on. Hand off to Wad Jr. James picks his way through. Pittstown held a 21-10 lead at half with touchdowns by James Wad Jr. and Terry Williams. He'll give it to Williams. Williams has the first down touchdown. Probably shotgun looks left side. Pass is caught by Schnars. After the homecoming festivities, the Golden Bears began to further agitate the East Stroudsburg Warriors by scoring three more touchdowns in the third quarter. Up. He finds Anthony Kelly, or Kellen Williams rather, touchdown. Barton looking, touchdown! Kellen Williams. Here comes the pressure. He steps up, he throws, and it's Anthony Kelly. The Golden Bears amassed 63 points before the clock hit zero. The Warriors entered the game ranked in the top 10 in scoring, passing, and total offense, but were limited to below their season average in all three categories. It felt great afterwards because that game was the closest game we played to four quarters. We always preached um, finishing games and playing four quarters, and that game we really, we really clicked on all cylinders, offense, defense, special teams. We really showed out. We were doing things in the special teams, um, doing things offensively, defensively, only holding them to 17 points offense, scoring 63 points. It was just a great team win altogether. I think it was a good accomplishment as a team, especially with a team like East Stroudsburg, really good team, um, solid program there. So to come together as a unit, um, to have a bounce uh, back from Bloomsburg like that, and to just you know put up that many points, it was, it was a great overall win for everyone. I had a lot of help from my running backs. We had 300 yards rushing, 300 yards receiving. I mean, they did a heck of a lot, so put up 63 points on a very good football team. Um, and I feel like that's where we started to get this thing rolling and put us in a position to, like I said, win the East. The PSAC East Division title was still within reach for the Kutztown Golden Bears as they traveled to Lock Haven University to take on the Bald Eagles. For the second consecutive week, the Golden Bears tallied 500 yards or more of total offense in a game, and they did so by having possession of the ball for over half of the game. After Lockhaven tied the game in the beginning of the third quarter, Kutztown scored touchdowns on three straight drives, giving them a commanding lead in the fourth quarter. At the end of the game, the final score was 34-20 as the Golden Bears won their second straight game. The Golden Bears faced off against Shippensburg while celebrating the 100-year anniversary of Kutztown football. Darrell Scott of the backfield. Barton's going to throw. Going to the end zone. Pass is caught. Touchdown. And it is Anthony Kelly. 
Zapatiki now will throw up over the top, and that pass is caught. What a great catch. That's going to be a touchdown. Another handoff to Scott. Scott will find the end zone touchdown. Chad looking that way, looking. He steps up. He throws. Pass caught. Touchdown. After the first half, Kutztown held a 10-point lead against the Raiders with a score of 24 to 14. Kutztown quickly began to dominate in the second half. And off goes to James Watt Jr. He finds a seam to the 30, to the 35. Kellen Williams will go in motion, halfback option. They got a man wide open, pass is gonna be caught. See you later, Anthony Kelly, touchdown. Back, step up, throw pass is intercepted. Tyler Pratt to the 20, to the 15, 10, 5, and he is in touchdown. Martin back, steps up to Reed. What a great catch by Cody Reed. Make the handoff to Williams. Barton has it. Barton to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, down inside the five. Williams will shift. He'll get the handoff. There he go. To the 20, to the 10, to the five. Touchdown, Terry Williams. The Golden Bears finished with a giant victory over the Raiders, with the final score being 51 to 27. In a special halftime ceremony, Kutztown welcomed back 33 alumni members to celebrate 100 years of Golden Bear football. You know, to see some of my, my team, not only my teammates, but to see some guys that I haven't seen in 25, 30 years uh, from when I was here is pretty cool. Coach Baldwin, who I love so much, uh, he gave me an opportunity. As you can see, I'm not the biggest guy in the world. And uh, they, they gave me an opportunity, and uh, I guess that's the biggest thing. It was exciting. Uh, it, was, it was an exciting time at Kutztown and um, you know the coaching staff that we had together and the players that came together at that point uh, it really was a lot of fun so um, you know, going out and playing every single week and practicing late into the season like that is something that you know, I personally will never forget and I know these guys will probably say the same thing. And the Golden Bears are the PSAC champions for 2011. The clock hit zero and it was just total, total happiness, joy from all the hard work we put in since we got here day one, so it was cool. Senior day at Andre Reed Stadium saw 13 seniors take the field for the last time as Kutztown battled PSAC West opponent Clarion in the final game of the season for the Golden Bears. Martin going to the end zone, caught touchdown, Anthony Kelly. Who makes the catch downfield? Penalty flag comes down. Genovo is going to find the end zone for the touchdown. Play action pass. He steps up. He throws, and the pass is going to be intercepted. And it's Tyler Pratt. Pratt to the 40. Pratt to the 50. Cuts it back. Down to the 40. To the 35. And it's going to be inside. Clary territory. First and 10 for the Bears. And off to Terry Williams. He has a first down and more. 40. 30. C. You later, Terry Williams, touchdown! Two thousand fifteen was a record-breaking season for the Golden Bears. Wide receiver Cody Reed was closing in on school records for career touchdowns, receptions, and receiving yards. Reed came into camp focused not on personal achievements but overall team success. I'm not one to hang my hat on accolades. It's uh, like I said. I'm more about the team aspect. Uh, I'd much rather go out and win 10, 11 games a season than break one or two records. I mean, it's a huge honor and it's very humbling, but at the end of the day, winning games is more important to me. Reed's desire to win translated into a record-breaking season. If there's anything that I want to define my legacy, it's just being a great teammate 
and one who uh, always had my teammates back. Along with the team's heroic comeback at IUP, Reed secured the school's receiving record, passing Mark Steinmeier's record of 2,118 yards. Three weeks later, Reed had the school touchdown record in his sights. Back to you. The side steps up, throws pass, caught touchdown. Cody Reed, and there is the record. Cody Reed, now the all-time leader in touchdown receptions for the Golden Bears. Terry Williams stamped his name into the record books with the longest run in program history. To the 10, to the 15, to the 20, 25, 30, 35, to the 40. He has one man to beat. Terry Williams, 98 and a half yards. As for Cody Reed, he would have to wait until the last game of the season to chase down a school reception record. Bears pass with to number 37, Cody Reed. Fans with that catch, Kutztown senior receiver Cody Reed has broken the school record for career receptions with 201. Reed now owns all three career receiving records at Kutztown for receptions, yards, and touchdowns. So the round of applause for the record breaking career of Cody Reed. Kutztown finished the year 7-4 with their second winning season under Coach Clemens. With their heads held high, the Golden Bears look to improve on that mark going into the 2016 season. You guys, are, you guys got an open invitation to always be around and help us, push each other, push these young guys, show them what it means to be a Golden Bear. This time next year, we're on a bus! Coming back from the West with the belt! Yeah! yeah! And that starts now! Man, that starts now! <laughs> I'm proud of my team, you know. Unfortunately, it's my last uh, season with this team, but I'm proud of everybody, like seeing everybody grow up and uh, becoming men and actually playing this game that we all love, you know, to the best of our ability. I'm just, you know, proud of everybody. Everybody's sticking together and doing what we're supposed to do and being a team. Um, I'm really proud of my teammates. Uh, they've come so far from, you know, where we started out. You know, I've gelled with these guys throughout, you know, my four years here and I'm just really glad to be a part of it. I mean, I love my team. I, I, they're one of the reasons I came back for my fifth year. When I'm not in the locker room or on the field with them, I'm always with them off the field. So really, it's uh, just one of those things where it is like a big family.